by Jack Coyle Associated Press Sachin Little Feather, the actor and activist who declined Marlon Brando's 1973 Academy Award for The Godfather on his behalf in an indelible protest of how Native Americans had been portrayed on screen, has died. She was 75. Little Feather's niece, Polly Na Lawrence, confirmed that she died peacefully Sunday, surrounded by loved ones at her Marin County, California, home. The cause was breast cancer, the family said. Little Feather's appearance at the 1973 Oscars would become one of the award show's most famous moments. Clad in buckskin dress and moccasins, Little Feather took the stage when presenter Roger Moore read Brando's name as the winner for Best Actor. Speaking to the audience, Little Feather cited Native American stereotypes in film and the then ongoing weeks long protest at Wounded Knee in South Dakota as the reason for Brando's absence. She said Brando had written a very long speech but she was restricted by time to brief remarks. I beg at this time that I have not intruded upon this evening and that we will in the future, our hearts and our understandings will meet with love and generosity, Little Feather said, becoming the fight. Although brief, straightforward and courteous, Little Feather's appearance was contentious, receiving a mix of applause and boos from the audience. In the years after, Little Feather endured considerable scorn and abuse for her speech, she said. I spoke from my heart, she told the Associated Press days after the Oscars. Those words were written in blood, perhaps my own blood. I felt about like Christ carrying the weight of the cross on his shoulders. Only recently did the Academy of Motion Pictures Arts and Sciences officially address the treatment Little Feather received following her appearance. In August, the Film Academy apologized to Little Feather. Two weeks ago, it held an evening of conversation, healing and celebration in her honor. The abuse you endured because of this statement was unwarranted and unjustified, the Academy's president, David Rubin, wrote in a letter to Little Feather. The emotional burden you have lived through and the cost to your own career in our industry are irreparable. For too long the courage you showed has been unacknowledged, 